Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully uh, you are doing well. You had a good night's rest and everything's going well with you. Um, hopefully you're getting ready for church tomorrow uh, if you're able to go. I'm going to uh, sing and read to you from Then Sings My Soul. And this is Miss Sherry Smith's book that she gave to me. This is book number two uh, or volume number two. And uh, this is a Fanny Crosby song. He hideth my soul. 1890. So it shall be while my glory passes by that I will put you in the cleft of the rock and will cover you with my hand while I pass by. That is in Exodus 32:22. That's God, of course, speaking to Moses. Bouncing back, there's a quality to be cultivated because life is full of struggles. How do we become resilient, unsinkable, joyful amid the blows and burdens of life? This hymn tells us, A wonderful Savior is Jesus my Lord. He taketh my burden away. He holdeth me up, and I shall not be moved. He giveth me strength as my day. This hymn by Fanny Crosby explains the author's life, for Fanny faced three incredible hardships during her 95 years. The first was her blindness, because a careless doctor when she was only six weeks of age. The second was a less than ideal marriage. Fanny was teaching at the New York Institution for the Blind when a young musician named Alexander Van Alstein joined the faculty. Fanny later recalled, after hearing several of my poems, he became deeply interested in my work, and I, after listening to his sweet strains of music, became interested in him. Thus we soon grew to be very concerned for each other. Love met love, and all the world was changed. We were no longer blind, for the light of love showed us where the lilies bloomed. The two were married on March 5th. 1858. No one knows what happened, but years later the two drifted apart and in the end occupied separate addresses. Fanny's deepest blow was the loss of her child. To this day no one knows if it was a boy or a girl. Fanny seldom spoke of the infant. The child's death seems to have devastated her. She privately bore the sadness all of her life. Yet all who knew Fanny Crosby spoke of her energy, her zest for life, her joy. One biographer said, even in extreme old age, she would tire out people 20 or 30 years her junior. She said, how long am I going to travel and lecture? Always. There is nothing that could induce me to abandon my work. It means nothing to be 80 four years of age because I am still young. What is the use of growing old? People grow old because they are not cheerful, and cheerfulness is one of the greatest accomplishments in the world. Fanny Crosby lived out her song every day of her life. He hideth my soul in the depths of his love and covers me there with his hand. So we'll switch and go to a little bit bigger words on this uh, book. And hopefully I'll be able to see them. Hopefully I'll be able to get through this. Let's see. Oh, wonderful Savior is Jesus my Lord. Oh, wonderful Savior to me. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock Where rivers of pleasure I see He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock That shadow a dry, thirsty land. He hideth my life 
in the depths of his love and covers me there with his hand and covers me there with his hand oh wonderful savior is jesus my lord he taketh my He holdeth me up, and I shall not be moved. He giveth me strength as my day. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock that shadow a dry thirsty land he hideth my life in the depths of his love and covers me there with his hand and covers me there with his hand with numberless blessings each moment he crowns and filled with his fullness divine I sing in my rapture O glory For such a Redeemer is mine. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock that shadows a dry thirsty land. He hides my life in the depths of his love and covers me there with his hand and covers me there with his hand Lord I thank you for the day you've given us, Lord, and I thank you for the opportunity to look at um, on this lady's life and know that uh, although she lived many years and wrote many songs and went through many heartaches, God, she was still able to write about how good you are and how blessed she was to be able to call you Father, to be able to call you Lord. And God, just the same for us today, we are blessed to be able to call you Father, to be able to call you Lord, to give you thanks and praise for all you do for us. God, help us to remember those words. Uh, being up in years is one thing, but God, help us to be cheerful. God, help us to be thankful for all you do for us. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. And uh, if you watch tomorrow, you'll be seeing our church service, of course. But we'll see you again on Monday. God bless. I have a great weekend.